Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, today we're going to talk about my experience at BeautyCon in New York City. That was over the weekend, October 1st. It was Saturday from 12 to 6. Um, unfortunately, not my kind of show. I did do some reading up on it, and I was expecting, okay, I know it's YouTubers and influencers and all that, but the way they kept, I guess, marketing it, was like, oh, see so your brands and shop, and well, that's what I was there to do, shop. I, you know, I'm ready to haul. So I always take notes in my phone before any show of the brands that are gonna be there, the prices, like retail prices, so I could see what the discount would be at the show, etc. So I know I am not insane when they were listing on the site that Tart was going to be there. Tart wasn't there. I could have sworn I saw Velvet 59 was going to be there. They weren't there. I can't even say I did a haul at this show because this is the funniest thing. Sorry for making a noise. The only two things I bought are a set of Luxie brushes, which is their rose gold um, face set. So there's a... Uh, Flat angled blender, pointed top kabuki, angled top buffer, round top blender, and flat top kabuki. Uh, this set normally retails 50 and they were 35 But they also didn't have all their brushes there because I had multiple brushes written down on my phone that I wanted. But at least they had this set and it was retailed for 50 like I said, but it was 35 so I grabbed five brushes here and the only other thing that I bought were two brushes from Real Techniques. Bold Metals Collection number 100 Arched Powder. Nice brush. I know they run $18, $20. They were $14. Now, this is what got me about the Real Techniques booth. I'm just aggravated about this whole show. I'm sorry. The whole show itself was a mess to begin with. Just no organization. It was very bad. I'm at the makeup show. They've got it going on. I'm standing in this line, and I can see this huge display. All the Real Techniques all the Real Techniques brushes. So I'm like, fabulous. I can pick up some powder brushes, some more setting brushes. I was ready to buy probably about 20 brushes, if not more. So I'm standing in this line. I could see all the brushes. I'm like, oh, fabulous. This lady comes up from the side and goes, oh, are you just here to shop? I'm like, yeah. Oh, that's this line over here. So I'm like, all right. Go to this little line. There's this tiny little table with one girl sitting at it. Had some items on it. I wasn't even paying attention. I walked up and I said, oh, okay, I need three powder brushes, two setting brushes. She just looks at me and goes, oh, well, we're only selling what's on the table. So now I look down. Beauty blenders? A kit... I don't even know what it was. Maybe an eyebrow kit? It was purple. I don't even know what it was. And these brushes. That was it. I'm like, what? Huge booth, but we're only selling three items. That aggravated me, so I was like, okay, give me two of these. She goes, okay, 3201. Now, I always have multiple denominations of cash, so I'm reaching a 20, a 10, you know, singles. Oh, we only take credit cards. Fine. Okay, I run the credit card. Done. Beautiful. I don't even think there was 30 vendors there. It, it, it was just a sea of people. I tried to Snapchat. I don't even know if they went through. I don't think they did. The best booth there that I actually was able to get into, and even then you had to wait maybe 25 minutes, it was an invisible line that we were walking through until we actually got to some ropes and... It was strange. But I did get to see Laura Geller. I was too shy to say hi, but... So, from the QVC booth was the best score, and it made it worth going all together. When you first came in, they gave you the Philosophy. The Lemon Custard. This is full-sized. Everything they gave free was full-sized. All you had to really do was show, oh, I follow you on Instagram. Okay, great. So, the next... Oh, and in the bag, they also had a Josie... Moran, my glasses on. 
Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil in Everlasting Honey. So these two were in the bag to start. Then I hit right next to them was, oh god, I hope I have it in here. Oh god, did I put it somewhere else? It's got to be on this desk here in front of me. I'm sorry. Oh god. Okay, well, if I find it, we'll find it later. Uh, nude stick. They gave you a full-sized lip crayon. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Perfect nude color. I don't know where it is. From Mally, More is More Mascara, which was free. This is a backup. I'm not going to open this. And from Laura Geller, that she gave, which is incredible, a baked true color blush in the shade Maui. And I cannot wait to use this blush. So those were all full-size products. This is probably, what, $25 too? So right alone at the QVC booth, you pretty much made your money back for the $40 ticket to get in. Now I've taken my girlfriend with me. Oh, I found the new stick. Here it is. Lip and Cheek Pencil Crayon in Mystic. And I've already used this a couple times. Very creamy. I'm really liking this nude stick line now that I've tried a little more. So literally, that's all I bought. I'm guessing, because I couldn't get near the Maybelline booth, NYX, Milani, Lime Crime. I couldn't even get into Ricky's. I, I, and I didn't even stop at Ricky's in New York. I was so befuddled after the show that I didn't go to Ricky's. I always stop at multiple Ricky stores. But I did see while I was in the QVC line, there was a little girl next to me. She was so cute. She was probably eight years old. Putting on the new Maybelline. This is called the Falsies Push-Up Angel. And she was so cute. She was putting it on while we were standing in the QVC line, which I thought was adorable. I actually already owned the mascara, so if this is what they were giving away, I didn't need it. I like this mascara. It has this very... It's just a comb, basically, for a brush. I hope that's picking up. Can you see that? Oh, I hope it's focusing. But I really, I'm enjoying this mascara. This is a nice mascara. The other one I didn't like, of the push-up where it had the weird brush, I didn't like that one at all. Here's another one that blew me away. Soap and Glory. I love Soap and Glory. I've been buying Soap and Glory for years. I've been holding off buying Soap and Glory, going, oh, I'll go to the show, I'll pick up stuff there. Soap and Glory, huge, massive booth, huge. Walked up, the girl goes, oh, do you follow us on Instagram? Well, yeah, I follow the UK and the US. You, you got a free pillow plump. Little mini. Fabulous. So I go, what else you selling? <clears throat> Nothing. Go the, what, why do you have this huge booth? Oh, you can take pictures with the bubbles. and I ain't got time for pictures and bubbles. I'm here to shop. The show is only six hours long. We crushed our way through the people, and we were only there two hours. I, I couldn't take any more after that. I was just, it was hot. For as chilly as it was outside, inside was, like, blazing hot. It was just crazy. And, like I said, the lines had, oh, my God, it was just, it was bad. <laughs> I don't know how long BeautyCon has been around. I'm guessing only a few years, but they need to look at how iMatch runs it. The makeup show, pick a bigger venue. If you know how many tickets you're selling, that venue was way too small for this show. It, it was just, it was ridiculous. And to see so many brands there not selling products and just having booths with games and, you know, win these little prizes. I'm there to shop, not to play games. Um, I took notes in here. The thing that burned me the most was Tarte not being there. Because I know that was on the site about Tarte. So I was like, ready. Bring on Tarte. Not there. I took notes on my phone. I always take notes on my phone. Real Tech. Oh, and the other thing about Real Techniques. This burned me too. She hands me the two brushes. I go, well, can I have a bag? Oh, we don't have bags. I said, what do you mean you don't have bags? Oh, well, I think they just figured since everybody else was having bags that they didn't do any. I just shook my head, grabbed the brushes, and jammed them in one of the bags. Which, back to bags. The show itself doesn't give you a bag when you go in. Now, when you go to IMATS, they give you a huge bag to start with. So you can, you know, it's a starting bag. A big, huge bag. So you can put all your makeup in it. No bag. Ugh. This was just not a good show. Uh, like I said, Luxie, that was fine. 
absolute New York. Couldn't even get in there. That line, the booth was like here and the line, <sighs> nightmare. Glow recipe. I really wanted to stop there. They had um, K Skin Care, but the line was again, insane. Didn't look like they had much. And then I saw a sign that said 20% off and I don't even bother with 20%. The QVC was definitely the best booth. Lime Crime, couldn't get near it. Ricky's, couldn't get near it. Milani, nope. L'Oreal, they weren't selling anything. There was nothing I wanted at Pixie by Petra. Garnier had nothing. They had some games, and they give you the micellar water, like a mini. I hate this stuff. I could have sworn PTY Hair Care was going to be there. They weren't there. Crown Brush wasn't there. Like I said, Nick's, that was just a crazy line. Yeah. So, BeautyCon just did not do it for me, unfortunately. Thank God the ticket was only 40 bucks, And the QVC getting those great products made up for that. But until I hear how, if they change their ways, I will not be doing BeautyCon again. I'll stick with IMATS and the makeup show. Okay, so since I did so horribly there... I jumped in a cab and said, take me to Sephora. So, while I stopped at Sephora, I picked up the new... Where's the box? Tartist Toolbox. Brush set and magnetic palette. It comes in this pink box. With the brushes. Okay, now in the other video, if you... I showed you the other Tarte palette. With the blushes and all this. I depotted it into this palette. Now this is kind of nice. It does have, it comes with five brushes. Ooh. Most are double-ended. I'm not a huge fan of double-ended brushes, but they are very nice. Flat kabukis, you know, good face brush. So these five come in here. Now then this side has this piece of plastic, which of course I almost ripped out, but I'm glad I didn't. This opens and the bottom is magnetized. So I depotted the shadows, highlight, blushes, and bronzers from the pretty paint box. Got it this time. And put them into here. So just for reference, this huge palette <laughs> only takes up that much space. I did leave out, there's 20 shadows here. I left out four just because if I'm not going to use the darker shadows on a regular basis, I'm not going to put them in here. But this could just be temporary for now, too. Just until maybe I get my double-sided to start putting the blushes in. So you can fit a lot of eyeshadows in here. They're not magnetized. You will need magnets. But this is cute. So say you have, and this is heavy. This is an extremely heavy palette without even the brushes in it. So what I figured you could do is take your other tarp brushes of some eyeshadow brushes, you know, so you could, if you want to use the bronzers and keep all that in here, like a liner brush, and you can really pack some brushes into this side over here. Would I use any of these other ones? Probably not. So say I wanted to put like the big fluffy brush to play with the bronzers and the highlighters. So you can pack this up pretty well, and, but I said this thing is heavy. This is not something you're going to keep in your bag because it's probably over three pounds. I don't know why it's so heavy, but it is. Okay. Let's see. Totally depotted. So you take this massive thing down to this big. Okay. While I was at Sephora, I also picked up, I posted all this on Instagram already, I think, the Marc Jacobs Airblush 508 Night Fever and Hot Stuff. This is gorgeous. I wanted to see these. I don't go into, I don't go shopping a lot. <coughs> <coughs> oh my God, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Allergies are killing me today. But this is beautiful. So, like I said, I didn't spend any money there, so I might as well spend it at Sephora. I picked up the new NARS Velvet Lip Glide. And this is in the shade La Main Blue. These stay glossy. They don't go matte. Let's see. Don't like a berry pink shade. The formula seems nice. 
the formula that ooh, I'm loving. This could be the holy grail that I've been looking for. Smashbox. Always on liquid lipstick, and I picked up the shade Girl Gang. So that's the Smashbox, that's the NARS. The Smashbox does go matte. Now I've had this on since 8 o'clock this morning. Me and my boss did go to lunch and the only part that wore off was in just like the center lip area here. And I hadn't brought it with me to reapply, but I did reply it yesterday and it reapplies fine right over it. Um, I had one of the uh, Lancome Juicy Shakers, so I just dabbed that on and it filled it in fine. And I did stop at Ulta today and picked up another shade of the Smashbox. I like this formula though. It's light. It doesn't feel like you have anything on your lips. It is not drying. I mean, I've bought how many lip, liquid lipsticks now? 50 or more, I'm guessing. Probably even 50 or more brands. And so far, wow, that one is really getting it. Uh, what else did I pick up? <clears throat> Marc Jacobs for... I swear I picked up something else. The brushes? No, maybe that was it. Okay. Also at the show, well, I got this stuff in front of me, some samples from Cantu. So they gave you a bunch of samples. Hair conditioner. And they gave you like this cute little orange bag. Uh, Carol's daughter, they give you a sample of black vanilla. Shampoo and conditioner. So they had their little bag. And Luxie had theirs. So, unfortunately, my experience at BeautyCon, not for me. I'm more bring on the shopping. And granted, I'm a YouTuber, but I'm not a fangirl kind of person to run up to people. And that's not my thing. If people want to say hi to me, you know, that's fine. But not what I was expecting. Which, I mean, it was still it was a fun day in the city with my girlfriend, but I mean, I left this house at 8 a.m. I was home by 6 p.m. And we were at the show just a little after 12 and I was literally on the train by four o'clock. Not my thing, sorry. I'm sorry if this went long. I, I just had to get this out. I, not my thing. I don't know what to say. Kind of bummed. I really wanted to do a haul, but the way I look at it, I have a really good start on my savings account for IMAT and the makeup show come April and May. Okay, hope you all have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll get some filming in tomorrow. I don't think I'm doing anything, but I wanted you guys to hear about the BeautyCon thing. It, yeah, not for me, unfortunately. All right, see you soon. Bye.